All right, for this edition of Who's Lucy, we're going to be going over this particular figure that I got off of Whatnot, and that is going to be the Pizza Tossin' Michelangelo. And what is so special about this particular figure is it's the actual original release that came out in 1993 when the Pizza Tossin' uh, figures came out. And we'll go over into detail as to why this is really, really a great grab. And why not did I not just get the re-releases that came out or that are coming out right now that are currently in Walmart as we speak. So we'll go in a little detail about that. But also what we're going to be reviewing are the movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures that you might also have seen out in Walmart. Um, they've just came out not too long ago as far as like releases go back in uh, I think fourth quarter of 2023 and off glance I'm actually gonna go deep dive into these particular figures that I got off of Timu so we're gonna go ahead and review these figures on the next Who's Lucy all right so let's kick it off for another edition of Who's Lucy so uh, these are the first two figures that I'm gonna be reviewing which are the uh, Foot Clan figure and the Master Splinter figure. Um, as I stated in the intro, at least I thought I did because I <laughs> recorded the intro a few weeks ago. And now I'm doing the mid or part, the big part of the meat of the, the video of the actual review itself uh, weeks later. So these I got off of Timu. Um, I actually. I had Timo for a while. I only got like a couple things from it, mostly electronics. And I was kind of like, you know, looking at these and I'm like, these can't be real. Like I haven't seen like I haven't seen any of those uh, figures um, at all until I may have mentioned this also in the intro that now the movie figures, because these are actually the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Playmates movie figures. So I'll go back to what I uh, mentioned earlier with the Playmates when I started doing the Turtles um, on previous reviews. So when the movie came out in 1990, Playmates didn't make any figures for the first movie because they were already riding high um, the animated uh, series for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And, you know, so they were, you know, they didn't think the movie was going to do well. They uh, they thought it was going to bomb and they didn't want to be associated with the, you know, making toys for a movie that bombed. A lot of times, I'm not sure if you guys remember, if, you know, when you were kids who had action figures back in the day, but, you know, when a movie came out and the movie bombed, the toys didn't really do so well because they didn't want to, kids didn't want to buy stuff on movies that sucked. Um, especially if you went actually and, and saw the movie or if the movie didn't do well, um, a lot of toys were kind of left uh, warming those pegs and what they call peg warmers. And that's one of the reasons why they didn't do it. But when it blew up and then they also uh, started a, a uh, did another sequel, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, 2, The Secret of the Ooze. They were like, okay, we definitely gotta, we definitely gotta make figures for these, and that's what these became. So these are actually bootlegs. I have had bootlegs in the past, the, the uh, Super 7 uh, type figures that I uh, also did on Who's Lucy. I did a review for that. Um, they were basically, I don't know how they get these molds. Like, I know they're made in China, but how do they get these molds for, like, figures that are, like, years old? I, it's very, very weird on how they're able to get these particular molds for these figures. But I, I already knew they were bit bootlegs. The, 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 the weapons are all warped. They really don't stay, you know, uh, stay, you know, straight. Like, you can see uh, splinters, bow and arrow. <laughs> And these weren't kept in heat or anything like that, and so it's not like they they were out left in the, the the window or something like that. But the foot soldier comes with like this big huge club, which I don't ever remember seeing uh, in the movie at all. But and these uh, figures were not really movie accurate as far as like their weapons and stuff like that. Even to Master Splinter, where is this freaking robe, man? Just coming out here naked. Uh, he comes with a bow and arrow with uh, a little pack where all his arrows go one of the things that i didn't uh like about even the actual figure itself when they did the movie figure is that splinter can't really stand up by himself 
I, I had to kind of move his legs in a, in a way to be able to make him stand up so I can actually do the review. I have no idea how I'm going to be able to keep him, you know, standing up when I display him. He may have to just go in a tilt somewhere. Um, I'm not sure. But uh, so I'm definitely going to be trying to get the actual figures themselves because they re-released them and they're all in Walmart. If you guys seen the toy hunts that we did, the first toy hunt on... Um, for 2024 you'll see that they do have the, the movie figures out and we actually just recorded another toy hunt recently so keep an eye out about that i'm not sure whether that's going to come out before this will so keep an eye out for that but they do have regular uh, articulation for them being bootlegs over at the shoulders here head moves right and they do have articulation in the waist here so no articulation on the knees so they're very hard to actually kind of like stand up a little bit and not that the the playmates toys ever had uh the easiest of figures to stand up even the original like actual teenage mutant ninja turtles made by playmates they're kind of hard to stand up especially when they get into like uh when i did the other who's lucy like uh leonardo the I think it was the discus thrower or um, Donatello, the basketball guy. You know, he they all had their feet all like in a way where you can't stand them up, which is really weird. Uh, so, but I, I, you know, I had some free money on Timu. So I was like, ah, why, why not? They're, they all came together in a set, six pieces. So I was like, ah, if I'm going to get six figures for freaking 10 bucks, I might as well. You know, they're, what, who, who cares? Nobody's going to know it's bootlegs but me. Um, but it's cool to have them, and that way um, they're part of my childhood, even though I never had these uh, figures, the movie figures. I only had the regular ones. So with that, not further ado, let's go on to the star of the show, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Be with you in a second. All right, so the next one that we're going to be going over is the Pizza Toss and Michelangelo. And uh, this is actually loose. Uh, and I am actually was wondering why... The re-releases that I've actually unboxed before, so check that out. I'm gonna leave a link here in this uh, unboxing or this review, rather, uh, where you can actually look at the other two, the Leonardo and the Raphael uh, pizza tossing. The yes, yeah, so Leonardo and Raphael pizza tossing figures that I got that were re-releases, but for whatever reason, they don't have the re-releases. Don't have Michelangelo the, that I know of. I haven't seen any uh, Michelangelo pizza tossing re-releases. Um, Otherwise, I would have probably already gotten it by now. But they pretty much look the same. Now, the differences between this one and the other ones is that this one, if I can find where they imprinted the stamp by Playmates. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. So you can see. I hope you can see it. 1993. So this is the actual original Pizza Tossin Michelangelo that came back or came out in 1993. Um, it didn't come with any... Uh, accessories even though I do have the pizzas that go into uh, the figures so naturally if I wanted to fire one I could I just have to take the ones out that I have in this little big bag I don't know why um, and I just kind of kept doing it uh, side note is that um, I had no clue when I was starting to you know collect what to do with the accessories I just kept them all in a big baggie and I just kept doing it and doing it. And finally, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I have this big, like, actually three big bags of all these accessories, heads, weapons, hands, you know, pizzas from these turtles uh, that I never separated. I mean, it's probably going to be like it'll take me a couple days, probably almost because it's like three full bags of stuff to be able to like find. OK, this goes with this and I can kind of label it and this, that and the third. So I might do that maybe one day if I have, you know, some time to kill. But. I digress. So, I mean, it's really much not much you could you know say about this particular figure. It is in good condition. The paints there are not really that many places where the paints uh, rubbed off where you can see on the feet here. The arms uh, is basically where you would normally squeeze so you can pop out the uh, the pizzas from his chest here. And I don't know if there's a Donatello. I would imagine there is a Donatello out there somewhere. Um, I have to do some research to see which ones. And I would imagine they would have all four turtles back in the day. That would have had all this pizza toss and, you know, figures. Because why would you leave some other ones out? Which, that was kind of like my head scratcher as to why they didn't 
um, have any kind of like information that I could find for the re-releases of Michelangelo and Donatello. I would imagine they are going to be doing some maybe in later seasons, not seasons, series rather, or waves, whatever you want to call it. And you might see these, you know, coming out with the re-releases uh, for Playmates. But this is made by Playmates. Playmates has always had the license for the longest time that I can remember for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And now they've licensed it off. Um whoever owns the the turtles which i think nickelodeon owns the, the rights to the turtles i believe um licensed it off to other companies so like you've seen me do like the loyal subjects and um you know super seven has the license to do some of those then you know so many other ones but <clears throat> generally the actual retro ones that you're seeing even the movie turtles that i've actually uh just reviewed they are now starting to re-release through Playmates, but um, I mean, it was, I, it was a no-brainer for me to get this. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I gotta have it, um, and I'm so glad that I do have it. Uh, if I ever see like the re-release, I might get it just to say I have the re-release and the original. But I mean, it's, the articulation really, there's not really much you can do um, with the right arm, my left, his right because that's where you kind of squeeze to, to pop out the, uh, the the pizzas. But he does have articulations in his left hand, my right. His right arm, left hand, my right. Um, so that you can kind of hold whatever weapon he was holding whenever he, whatever he came out with at the time. The legs are kind of like, you can move them, but they're, they're, you can't move them this way. You can move them sideways, laterally. Um, but, you know, one of the things I kind of really had an issue with, not so much with this one because it's kind of flat, a lot of the turtle figures, they, their feet um, don't really, you know, are not, they're not that straight. Um, I, I want to give you an example, but I don't want to <laughs> mess up my, uh, um, uh, my display, but I'll try my best to see if I can move something to kind of give you an example of what I'm talking about. Oh, so scary. All right, so <clears throat> this is one of the ones that I've gotten off of Mecca Market. As you can see, Leonardo's uh, on skates. There's no, you know, peg holes for you to, you know, stand them up. So I kind of had to lead him against the wall for him to stand up. Um, and that, that's something that you kind of have to live with when you have uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures that are, you know, the retro style, stuff like that. So that's just an example of what I'm talking about, but not so much this one, because like I said, you can see he has, the, he has the peg holes, so you can probably put them on a stand if you really wanted to. This is uh, just a uh, guilty pleasure of mine. Um, I know with uh, some collectors, they might kind of look down on this particular figure because it's like, oh, it's so out of like the norm and it's so ridiculous. Why would you want these? You know, and you know, if I, if I can answer a question with a question, some people may say about, you know, why would you like to collect, uh, like for instance, uh, one of the major alert wrestling figure podcasts videos, uh, during the pandemic, they went to the spot, I forget, was it in Kentucky or, the, or Mississippi? I believe it might've been in the South somewhere, but Matt Cardona bought all of the, uh, the maximum sweat figures. And those were like, really, really like, ridiculous you know you they, they came, came with like a little bottle of water and you pump it into the the back and then they start sweating you know so that's why they call them the maximum sweat those are actually pretty you know out there I'll, I'll leave a picture here so you can see what i'm talking about but you know like i said answering a question with the question those are you know kind of i don't want to say stupid but those are kind of out there why would you collect that but the same thing that as why i collect this is because it's part of my childhood you know, at that time, I was 12 in 93 when this came out. So I was definitely still playing with figures. Uh, was wasn't until I was like 14 where I kind of stopped. Um, and it was real easy for me to stop playing with figures because when I moved to California, I left all my stuff back in New York. I kind of like just put them all in a box and I gave it to a friend of mine. I was like, here, you know, give it to your little brother or something, you know, because I wasn't going to be able to bring all that stuff with me, you know, so... Anywho, but you know, uh, yes, yeah, so I was 12 when this came out. I didn't have these. I just had the very, very few of the, the turtles, you know, because my dad was a working, a working man, and he didn't, he didn't have like we weren't rich, so naturally, he bought me what he could, and I had to 
be thankful for what I have. But now as an adult, <laughs> I can spend my money frivolously after all my bills are paid. And if I want to buy these, you know, I don't want to cuss, but God damn it, I'm going to buy them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all this that I have to say really on this review. Like I said, because it's loose and it doesn't have any uh, uh, accessories, I can't really go and show you the motions. But if you've seen the other video now, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description of this uh, video of uh, another video that I did, these unboxings of the other ones that are the re-releases. You can see me, I kind of let off a few. All right, so thanks so very much for joining us on this review. Be with you in a moment. All right, so right now we're going to be reviewing the stars of the show, none other than Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Donatello, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, these are supposed to be the movie figures from The Secret of the Ooze. Again, like I said, because these are bootlegs, you can see the actual weapons are all warped. They don't really stand up straight. Um, they look all bent and everything like that. No matter how much I tried to uh, to bend them to make, to be straight, they just didn't, wasn't, it wasn't happening. So uh, far be it for me to kind of, you know, <laughs> get myself all riled up and upset, you know, just, you know, left them as is. Uh, a couple of them did come with the arms off of the socket. Uh, I don't know if that was due to the packaging because they all just, they didn't come in a box or anything like that. They all came in a bag, uh, like a regular plastic cellophane bag, no box or anything like that. So um, I'm guessing whoever put these together, uh, they had the molds and I don't even think they were actually manufactured like a with like a machine. I think a lot of these people were making the molds and then they're just putting them together, you know, by hand. Uh, but the Donatello, <laughs> his, his staff is all the way down there, which was uh, giving me some issues trying to get him to stand up. Uh, I would show you the articulation. I'll just basically point them out to you. I don't want to do it because a lot of times they'll just pop off. Um, so you, they do have articulation in the shoulder right over here. The head, you can move. The, the heads are all right. I can move no problem. Um, they don't have any articulation in the knees, but they, you can do the, the legs no problem as you can see this is actually kind of you can see where they, they popped off so <clears throat> these are all going to be just for display only i'm not really going to mess with them you know i might take them out and hold them but every once in a while i'll go to my uh, figures I'll, I'll pick one out and i'll start holding it just to get the uh the nostalgia hit that i need that little that little nostalgia drug that we all go for you know that's uh that's brings you back to a moment in your life that was like a little bit more simpler and happier even though not to say that my adult life is not happy but you know, guys know what i mean you guys that's that collect will go to your you know your fig cave and you know your toy room wherever you want to call it you know uh man cave whatever you'll just pick something out and then you know play with it maybe a little bit move them around and then you put it right back you know because that's basically what you collect them for just so you can come in and hold them like I'm holding Raphael, my main man, Rafi. Now, uh, <laughs> the paint application is a little scary. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, it's just like, I look at it, I'm like, what in the world is going on in here? Uh, but you can see some of the paint rubbed off from the, from the um, elbow pad. I mean, I'm not like upset, I, just, I bought them. I mean, they're pretty much free money. I got some uh, credits on Timu. And I was like, all right, well, I'll buy them and see what they look like. And then when I actually buy the real figures, I can kind of compare them. Um, so it is what it is. I'm not I'm not mad or anything like that. You see that the paint rubbed off here. Uh, and it came like that. You know, Mikey's were pretty much in shambles when I got them out. Like I said, the uh, arms are popping off and everything like that. But... Uh, I, I, this was kind of like an impulse buy. I just wanted just to say I had it, you know, even though they're bootlegs. I don't care if they're bootlegs. Some people were like, would be really, really upset if you got them bootlegs. They're like, dude, these are junk. Why would I even want to have them? Uh, and there are some people like, oh, these are cool. You know, it's like, hey, you know, you can, you can kind of compare them to make sure that you know if it's a fake or not. Uh, a lot of people that I've said or that I've uh, talked to as far as like toy collectors, when I mentioned Team Lunar, they're like, oh, those are garbage. Those are all bootlegs. We don't want bootlegs, stuff like that. But it's to each his own, I guess. But uh, not much to say on this particular toy review. I just, of uh, Who's Lucy, I just wanted to show that I had them. 
you guys want to go ahead and comment of what you like or dislike have you ever had any bootlegs do you like them do you dislike them you know let's uh get some engagement in the comments section thank you guys so guys for like this uh, little short ski video of uh who's lucy brought to you by j and j toy giants be sure to like and subscribe and also comment on any of our video submissions on uh youtube i almost forgot why <laughs> like where I'm getting it from, from YouTube, Patreon, X, Instagram, and Facebook, and follow us on TikTok, and also follow us on Twitch, thank you so much, guys, for sticking, staying with me in my little rack, rabbit brain, you know, but thank you so very much, be sure to uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, Patreon, X, Instagram, and Facebook, and follow us on TikTok, and follow us on Twitch. Thank you so very much, guys, for this episode of Who's Lucy. See you soon. Keep your... No, see you soon. Keep on cruising. <laughs>